We're on our way down to go down fishing with Captain Rennie Clark. His boat was liquid armored about six months ago. He's a professional guide. Putting his boat in now. Alright, well. I'm gonna put some blood on the deck. Stay tuned. <laughs> So here we are at the Trails End boat ramp in Wilmington, and uh, we're going to go do some fishing with Captain Running Clark of Tournament Trail Charters, uh, local guide and tournament fisherman. And uh, we've done a liquid armor coating, ceramic coating on his uh, shear water um, several months back. And uh, he fishes with this boat weekly, you know, sometimes five days a week. And, uh, you know, he's always getting blood and dirt on the deck. And uh, he, uh, according to him, he, he barely has to wash it anymore. Just kind of, you know, rinses it down now and then. And even dried blood and stuff like that just easily rinses away with a little bit of water and a microfiber towel. So so we're going to go out and uh, try to catch some, some fish with him this morning and see if we can duplicate that, bloody up the deck a little bit, if you will, and, uh, and uh, get, some, get some good footage of that have some fun while doing it. background out of there, even though it is a community hole. The secret <laughs> is when the fish are here. See, nobody knows they're here. Yeah, Jamie exactly. Jamie just found out because he saw me. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your boat since it's been liquid armored. Okay. Just a second. Um. What are some of the major differences you've noticed? Uh, the biggest difference I can tell with the liquid armor on my boat is blood comes up instantly when I get it on there. It doesn't, um, you know, gel coat fades over time and become, it's porous anyway. So it's hard to get stains off of gel coat, you know, on, on boats without liquid armor. When liquid armor was applied to my boat, I noticed instantly I was having to use Clorox to get stains off. Um, just fish guts and blood, especially on our near shore and offshore trips, um, it was really hard to keep the deck clean. So I was using harsh chemicals to get those stains off. Now I can just, I can either wipe them up when I'm out there or wait until I get home and just spray it off. I don't even have to use a brush most of the time on blood, grit, anything. It just comes right off. Nothing will stick to it. And it uh, makes my life a lot easier when cleaning these boats up. Um, this boat has been sitting up for a week. I've been using a different boat and um, it had pine straw all in it. Normally, you'd have pine straw marks all over the deck, anywhere that pine straw was. Today, you don't see any pine straw marks anywhere on my boat. Um, it's just, it's an amazing product and uh, I'd highly recommend it to everybody that has a boat, whether you're a fisherman or you just, um, you know, a skier, a boater of any kind. It, I mean, just marks on your shoes alone, it's worth having this, this uh, finish on your boat because you don't have to do anything. It's zero maintenance. You know, some people might be worried about uh, the non-skid and, you know, putting a, a, a coating that's non-stick on, yeah. on that. You know, have you seen any difference there? Like, is I, it, does it make it slippery? I haven't seen any difference whatsoever on the, the uh, non-skid. It's not slippery at all. 
it's just like it's just like a brand new boat when you buy a brand new boat it's all waxed up and pretty it's it's the same with the liquid armor it actually restored the finish this boat is a 2009 model it's it's eight years old now so it was looking a little faded out you know before i i, I took it to nathan to get the uh, uh liquid armor put on it and when it came back it looked like a totally different boat i mean you've got it's glossy it shines um and before it was just kind of faded out and it it would absorb any kind of mark from your shoes or anything you dropped on the deck um just sand getting in and out of the boat ramp i mean the, i mean it was permanently like a brown finish to it from all the dirt and grime but the non-skid is is uh it's just like it would be on a brand new boat it's not slippery at all it's got the same traction it always has had so uh, I, there's no issues whatsoever with the non-skid putting the liquid armor on there awesome well let's see if we can put some blood on the deck yeah and we'll show people how easy it washes off well, i'll tell you what we got we got that we got that uh gear we'll put you on some bluefish they're about the bloodiest <laughs> oh, yeah, thing you can it. put on there <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna big my does liquid armor help keep from getting your line caught in the prop? It doesn't do that. <laughs> it does a lot, but it doesn't do that. <laughs> All right. Some blood on the deck. Large pogies. Big as a small football. <laughs> Nice. See how big he is?